Love someone. That's Jason Mraz. It's Dan Radio Style. Hope everybody is doing amazingly well. Wanted to do a quick show. Uh, I'm temp- uh, the the title I have for it right now is definitely not going to be the title, but something to the effect of how do I know I'm on track? How do I know I'm going in the direction I should be going? How do I know I'm heading downstream? How do I know that uh, what I'm doing right now is kind of right for me? It's it's the it's benefiting me. It's a, it's it's good for me, right? How do I know that that's, that's how this is playing out? So when you're not on track, obviously, and that'll be the opposite of when you're on track, right? So when you're not on track, the things you kind of need to look at doing is looking at some of the places where you're grumpy, frustrated, and do some of the different techniques that we've already shared with you. And we'll, of course, do more videos with, uh, with those topics. But this particular topic is not necessarily how to fix it, when it's broken, because I've done a whole bunch of videos, even recently, about stuff like that. So if you're if you're not on track, and if this, you know, after watching this, you're like, man, it really doesn't sound like I'm on track. And then, you know, in the comments be like, what do I, so how do I get on track? Uh, again, that's what I'm saying. Go check out some of the other videos. There's a lot of good stuff out there. Uh, rubbing out techniques, right? There's meditations, there's music, What find ways to get happy. Like, it just depends on what your uh, your issue is, right? Whatever it is that's causing you uh, concern or, or grief. Now, to know we're on track, and this kind of came across to me, it's, um, it, I don't want to get too terribly into the specifics for a lot of reasons right now. One, it makes it extremely difficult in my own life when I talk about things that are happening in my own life. Just makes it very difficult while I'm going through them. So after, I'm usually okay talking about them. During, absolutely not. But what kind of happened, and I can be generic about it, which is very cool, is So there was some questioning that I was having about kind of the direction I wanted to go. I will say it didn't seem like things were on track. That's kind of what also helped lead into this particular video. I didn't have the indications that things were working out for me. Didn't seem like I was going the right way. Didn't feel good. Just all the all the things that would come into play. So I'm like, all right, well, what do I need to do? And it was funny as I was scrolling through my videos, um, and it was you know there's something I was looking for. And whatever the case was, I finally got to one that had 777 views. And I was just like, bam. And I looked at the title, and the title was perfect. It was my advice. I gave my own self a sign. And I looked at it, and I said, done. That's what I need to do. Perfect. So from that moment forward, things began to fall in place and fall in line and happen. So like literally within about an hour of making that decision, the uh, professional sporting event tickets that I'm going to be sitting on the floor were finally given to me. They're actually in my hand. I am definitely going to the game, sitting in seats that most likely I'll end up on TV, which is kind of cool. So that all being said, and I'm, you know, I'm not excited about the TV thing. It's just the fact that that's how close I am. <laughs> I've never, ever experienced that. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, so that started happening. Um, I saw the, the different numbers. There was a, tri- a time this morning as I was walking out, I found a $1 bill on the ground. $1, so that's pretty cool. like just finding money, right? Uh, traffic signals have been uncannily perfect for me. Absolutely perfect. I'm either showing up and it's green and it's turning yellow right when I'm getting there. It's turning yellow right before I'm getting to it, so I've got easy to get through. Uh, it's turning green right as I'm starting to get there and maybe starting to hit my brakes to slow down and boom, it turns green. So again, a lot of indications will start to pop up in your life that will show that things are good, that timing is good, that uh, fortuitous things, uh, good circumstances are happening to you right now. You'll notice these things happening to you. That's how you know you're on the right track. When you get yourself off track, you'll notice you're not feeling good, right? And I forgot to mention that one, kind of since I've been on track. The first thing when I realized and saw my video, right? And I looked at it and I said, that's that's what I'm going to do. It instantly felt better, by the way. That was the other thing. So when you're off track, and this is where I knew I had a problem, I wasn't feeling good. There was, it was just kind of, I was a, in a bummer mood. And I know there's a lot of people that are out there right now that are frustrated with their specific people and are probably spending more time in, 
in an angry, grumpy, frustrated kind of environment. And frankly, that's a good indication you're not, what you're doing is not necessarily the right path for you. And it's certainly not working and it's not helping, right? We've talked about before, be happy, right? Trying to be happy, be cheerful, get that energy in a good place. And when you notice it's not, then you know there's something that needs to be looked at. Now, maybe you're just having a bad day. That happens. But when you go day one, day two, day three, now nah, there's there's a pattern going on. What is it? What are you upset about? What is causing this feeling? What thoughts are you lamenting on or thinking about over and over that are causing you to feel bad? Because again, as I've said many times, thoughts over here, there's like, like two little pistons, right? And your thoughts and feelings are in sync. And if this one starts getting negative, this one starts getting negative, right? It's just they work together. So when you're feeling bad, you need to look at your thoughts. What thoughts am I having? Well, I'm thinking about how they haven't texted me back, or I'm thinking about how they haven't texted me for three days, or I'm thinking about how they haven't uh, uh, reached out to me. I'm thinking about how they don't miss me. I'm thinking about how they've moved on with their lives. I'm thinking about whatever you're thinking about. That's negative. Of course, it doesn't make you feel good. Never, It's never going to. That's why I constantly try to remind people, one of the big things I'm here to teach is how to think about what you would like to experience rather than what you don't want. You can't make something go away by not thinking about it, right? It's just, it's too hard to do it that way. You can't. So you think about what you do want to experience, and that generally will put you into a better mood. And again, will you be, are you noticing that every time you're getting the traffic signals, they're turning red, like it's green and you're coming on it? Dang, it's red. Shoot. Next one. Dang, red. All right. Or are you noticing people kind of cutting you off or everywhere you go, no matter what lane you get in, it's the slow lane. That lane was just moving fine a second ago. In fact, going way faster than the lane I was in. I hop in it. Now, all of a sudden, it's slower than the one I was just in. Right? How many times have we had those days, those experiences? Well, when they go on for day and day and day, you're getting out of sync. Something is messed up within your little vibe, your world, your choices, your decisions. Whatever it is that you're focusing on, you need to pay attention to how you're feeling and what you're experiencing, because the what you're experiencing is going to just play it out for you. Because again, remember, what starts inside then becomes outside. So what you're experiencing outside was because of thoughts you had an hour ago, a day ago, a week ago. What you're experiencing right now was because of yesterday or recent, right? So if things aren't going well, if you're out of timing, out of sync, look at inward. Look at yourself. What's going on with myself? Why do I, why do I feel this way? What's, what, what is going on? And then try to look at those things. We've talked many times. A lot of this is about the growth process. And once we find these things that, you know, if this is a breakup scenario, these, could have, these issues that we're hoping to find might have been why the breakup happened. If it's an issue of someone, your specific person, there's someone that you're very, very specific about, but it just seems like you're having a hard time closing the deal, there's something that's missing. There's a missing piece. That's all. And we just need to find it. We need to figure out what it is. I don't know what your missing piece is. I'll tell you, I'm working on my own missing pieces sometimes, right? But I know that that's a missing piece, and I know that I can find it. I know all I got to really do is say, hi, yourself, can you help me figure this out? And that is the process I'm on, and that's what it's been. It's, it's great, but that's all you need to do. But all of us have our little things, right? And if you're looking for love, period, and still seem to be having a hard time finding it, there's some missing pieces. There's something going on, self-love. Uh, maybe you've got beliefs that are holding you back, whatever. Again, all of us have different things. I've done dozens of shows about trying to identify a lot of these different things. Like just listen to a couple, a couple dozen of my videos and I'm sure I'll cover them three times each, you know? So it's, uh, it's definitely powerful when you're paying attention to what's presenting itself to you. And it gives you an idea of what you were doing yesterday. And it helps you figure out what do I need to change today? So tomorrow is better. Things to think about, things to mull over makes a big difference. And again, that's kind of how you gauge. How am I doing? That's how you're doing. Are you happy with the results? Do you like your movie right now? Cool. Keep doing what you're doing. If you don't, look inward, try some things, self-love, maybe you're needy, you know, could be any number of things. Don't know. Don't know. It's different for everybody. But again, huge points, huge points, my friends. All right, we're going out with, oh, this is just a beautiful song. And I think I actually grabbed a really, really awesome part of it for that matter. And 
It's a duet between Beyonce and Ed Sheeran, and it's called Perfect Duet. It's right here on Dan Radio Style. Barefoot on the grass While listening to our favorite song I have faith in what I see Now I know I have met an angel in person And she looks perfect I don't 